Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes on this Saturday evening, the 22nd of January. And it's brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, your superstore for salt, rock salt, sand, pellado, mag, ice, pellets and flakes, and whatever it is you need to make sure your home or business is cleaned up and safe during this winter season. Uh, they have the lowest prices anywhere in the tri-state area and plenty in stock. 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York on Long Island. Phone number is 631-756-1125 and the website is omnitruevalue.com. So let's uh, just take a look at what's going on this evening. We uh, are quiet here in uh, New England and down into the mid-Atlantic states. Uh, the ocean storm that affected the Carolinas. And by the way, the icing was quite significant in places. Uh, I saw some uh, snow amounts uh, about up to half to f half a foot in parts of uh, uh, eastern North Carolina, away from, well away from the coast. And uh, the icing also uh, accretions of a quarter to a half an inch as well. So that's all long gone. Winter weather advisory, southwest PA, northern West Virginia, north and west back to uh, northern Indiana, uh, il northern Illinois, including Chicago, and points north and west. Now, this is with an upper air disturbance that's moving eastward, and it's going to be moving, and a cold front, and it's going to be moving through here uh, it, to, to, late in the day tomorrow into tomorrow night, and we'll get to that in a moment. Meanwhile, uh, cold day, very cold day. Temperatures didn't get out of the 20s in most places. We uh, have uh, clear skies, but you could also start to see high clouds out to the west uh, and back over through the Great Lakes. And, and this is basically where our airflow is coming from uh, all week, all through next week, as we uh, get into that northwest flow out of Canada. We keep seeing cold air mass after cold air mass coming down, and, and they're being separated by our, uh, cold fronts that are coming through, some uh, weak, uh, some uh, a little less weak, and we'll address that in a moment. Uh, the radar uh, showing uh, a few echoes now in mostly aloft. Uh, this is as of uh, just about 6 o'clock Eastern time uh, in western New York and northwestern Pennsylvania back over to Michigan. We're probably going to see the precip shield pick up just a little bit. And on the surface map uh, this evening, uh, our low, the ocean, low, the storm uh, from off the Carolinas is well out to the east. The core of the cold air on the coast, that's moving out. And you can see where the next cold front is uh, with a low in southern Lake Superior down into northern Illinois. And then it swings back westward and northwestward up through the plains. And we're looking at temperatures now with the next cold shot uh, in uh, places like Minnesota and into the Dakotas. Uh, going into uh, mid-afternoon today, we're single digits and below zero. And then you get into the double digit below zeros as you move on to the north and west. So it's another cold air mass. At the end, when it gets here into the east, it will won't be it won't be as cold as what we just experienced, but still it's going to continue with below average temperatures. Just want to show you with, real quick what WPC is doing with regards to uh, snow probability. This is the probability of at least two, and uh, it's all well inland and west and western PA, western New York, and across the Great Lakes. And this is for the next 72 hours. So we're not expecting anything uh, with this takes us right into Tuesday morning, by the way. Uh, so we're not expecting anything uh, with regards to uh, uh, accumulating snows tomorrow, other than the fact that if these snow showers hold together, and that's a big if, maybe some places will get the ground whitened and the, and and some places won't. So this is the long range, and this is for uh, Friday into Saturday. Might be a little bit early here, but uh, WPC has a 10 to 30% chance of at least two and a half inches of equivalent snow and sleet from uh, southern New Jersey right up on into Maine. This forecast, by the way, just so you know, was done uh, earlier today and before the afternoon weather model guidance package came out. So let's run through what to expect. Obviously, no issues tonight. Temperatures won't be as cold as the last couple of nights because of the high clouds moving in later on. So most lows will be in the teens. Maybe the coldest spots from eastern PA to southern New England will be in the single digits. Now, I got the HRRR model because I want to show you what happens for tomorrow. And that is uh, you've got this area of snow that is out to the west. This is uh, the map for tomorrow morning. Uh, so nothing's going to happen uh, here at all tomorrow other than uh, increasing clouds. And that'll probably hold the temperatures down tomorrow. So highs probably won't get much above the low 30s in the warmest of locations. 
Now, here comes a solid area of snow. Uh, here we are at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, the uh, little front that's going by. The HRRR wants to hold the snow showers together uh, into Monday night. Uh, this would kind of give you the idea that there would be a bro broad brush coating to an inch if this were correct. Now, I'm going to switch over to the NAM model which has a different view of things, uh, and I think maybe a more realistic view, uh, because most times in situations like this, the snow tends to dry up uh, once it tries to cross the mountain. So if you look at this, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow, virtually all of Pennsylvania is covered with light snow, and then it just kind of falls apart as it <laughs> heads east. Uh, in fact, there's a wall in uh, uh, along the New Jersey-Pennsylvania border uh, according to the NAM, so except for Northwest Jersey and parts of Connecticut and, and Connecticut northward, everybody else gets shut out. I I resolved this. I, I I put in the chance that there could be a chance for some snow showers, chance that some places could get the ground whitened tomorrow evening, and other places won't. Then that we move on now to Tuesday, and we have the same problem because we have another. Uh, weather front that's moving on through. There's actually a little upper air disturbance that comes through Monday night into Tuesday morning, uh, which uh, produces a couple of snow showers. Then we have another cold front. And think back to a couple of days ago. It's it's similar uh, to uh, what we what we had then. The only difference is, at least on the NAM, and the other models aren't showing this, by the way, uh, is that for some reason it's keeping this Gulf system further northwest and tries to inject some of that moisture up the coast. So this is at uh, two's for Tuesday night, and it would suggest that there would be a period of snow uh, with uh, maybe rain in South Jersey and touching parts of eastern Long Island that goes over to snow before it ends. Uh, I don't even know if I want to believe this because, again, other, the other models have very little in terms of precip. So for now, I'm just going to put in the chance that there could be some rain or snow showers on the coast Tuesday night and some rain or, and, and some snow showers inland. And maybe the inland area stand the chance of getting a coating to an inch or so. That's about as far as I'm going to go with that. Now, in terms of the longer range, it's very muddled still. And I think we're going to still be muddled. Uh, I mentioned yesterday that uh, if... Uh, we wind up seeing uh, the models go back and forth that I, uh, it went through the weekend, which I was expecting to happen, that uh, I really don't want to even start talking about the weekend storm t until Monday. Let's just say that we're still seeing these models going back and forth. Uh, this was earlier today uh, where we had, you'll notice again for Tuesday night and Wednesday shows very little, and then we're cold and dry for the rest of the week. Uh, we've got this weather system moving uh, toward Florida, and on the prior run, it kept it mostly offshore. I can tell you on the new run, uh, it's much further to the west and has, a, you know, what lo would look like a significant event. I am not going to, you know, uh, even make an attempt at trying to figure this out. There's too many working parts, too many things upstream to deal with uh, as far as other weather systems that are coming into play. So really, nothing has changed as far as I'm concerned. We're still in this sort of back and forth, back and forth mode. It's there, it's not there. It's to the east, it's to the west, it's to the north, it's to the south. It disappears entirely. So uh, if it's, we'll probably talk about it tomorrow on the Joe and Joe Weather Show. Uh, at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, so you could certainly tune in for that. And uh, if uh, everything, you know, if it's still there on Monday, then I will start to give it uh, a more uh, important uh, assessment. Let's put it that way. So, Weather in 5, brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, uh, your place to go to get whatever you need to make sure your house and your business, they're, they're all cleaned up and safe during this winter season. 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125, the phone number, and the website is omnitruevalue.com. So, Two-week weather systems, and then who knows what we have to play with through the, for next weekend. And very cold is the common three, uh, theme this week, with temperatures averaging below normal and on some days much below normal, uh, starting, uh, you know, continuing tomorrow and lasting right through the week and into next weekend. And one last thing, uh, if uh, you haven't done it already, you can download the free meteorologist Joe Chaffee weather app on Google Play or on the App Store uh, and uh, just do it by searching my name. It's absolutely free and it's got every single snow map 
from Maine down to Georgia. So if snow is your thing and you like to look at snow maps, they're all there on one page. They're the National Weather Service snow forecast maps, and they update automatically when the Weather Service updates their maps. So um, we'll see you tomorrow, hopefully on the Joe and Joe Weather Show at 11 o'clock Eastern time.